Hi guys, it's Mother Goose here on Real Sunday will be two weeks since the tragedy that took place October 7th in Eretz Israel and everybody's doing their ways of doing mitzvot, doing good deeds, praying to Hashem that things should go smoothly and the rest of the kidnappers should be returned home safely and there's also this huge movement of extra modesty, extra tzniut, extra being more mindful of how you're dressed, being more mindful of not being revealing and drawing too much attraction to yourself. So someone, a person that I know dearly said, what about talking about modesty of the tongue? Modesty of being mindful of what words are coming out of your mouth. Modesty of the judgments you're making by the statements you're saying. Modesty of the way you are talking about other people. Modesty of what you say how you say it, the tone of voice you're using, modesty with the statements, modesty with the expression of the thoughts. What if we create a movement of that? Not only hype people up of do extra modesty now and then forget about it a week from now. Modesty of character, modesty of presentation of the self, modesty of not being judgmental, modesty of not putting others down with our words modesty of expression of the self she was saying a lot of people create these messages uh, create these messages of like oh i'm wearing um this now i'm wearing that now and can you believe the per this person hasn't done it or like showing it off to other people if you're doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do for hashem do it for that be mindful of how you're presenting it to other people Different people from different homes and different backgrounds have their own journey of what they can and cannot do. So we should never create a way of doing mitzvot at the cost of sinat chinam. So when we talk about modesty or tzniyut, it's beautiful. The halachot are the what they are and we all thrive to do our best. But when we talk about it in front of our children, we should never come across that as if the ones that are not keeping it are less of a Jew. The ones that are not keeping it are not good Jews. We should never come across like that. People have families, cousins, friends that might not be keeping the mitzvot the way we're keeping it. I didn't keep all the mitzvot the way I'm keeping it today, 30 years ago. I didn't. And it was all about a progress and change. So the modesty of the tongue, modesty of the Lashon, is be careful of the statements that are coming out of your mouth, even the way you're presenting it. So when you're talking to people, don't be pushy, don't put them down, don't look down at them. Try to create more light. And I always say the best way to invite people to keep mitzvot is the candlelight. Lights for Shabbat. Everybody likes to do that mitzvah. It's not negative. It's not bad. And you invite them and ask them, would you like to know more? Would you like to keep more? So as you're keeping your journey of tzniut, yeshekoyach, kola kavod, good for you. Just be mindful of how you're presenting it to other people so we don't create more sinat chinam that there is already in the world, which we know God does not like. God likes achdut, ahabat chinam, coming together, the kedusha with Yirat Shamaim and with oneness. That's what God loves more than anything else.